Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss about the service now developer scripting. So in that scripting, uh, we are we have one question is there. So we need to resolve that question. Then so how we can resolve that questions? Very simple way. And uh, see the question is where we can find the deleted records in service now. So for example, unfortunate thing. So we deleted uh, so one uh, table or any record or anything. So how can we recover? Okay. So these things may, it may happen in a practical sessions. For example, unfortunately, we deleted some of the records. So how can we re recall that particular deleted records? So that is a very important thing we need to discuss. Okay. So that's the reason we need to just go and practically I'll show how to delete. Sorry. De after deleting, how to get it back again. Okay. So that's the reason I need to just go for my personal developer instance. So I'll click on my personal developer instance. So start building in that area. Just you can see here. So when this um, personal developer instance has to open. So each and every area you can delete. For example, not only that record, not only that table. So any field value, any field um, values or deleting. So everything will be stored in a particular area. So where it will be stored, I will show in a practically. Okay. So that's the reason. So we'll see. Yeah, I think it is just opening. Right. So my personal developer instance has to open. You can see here. So yeah, this is a system administrator. Now I'll go and I'll open it. So simply I'll first of all, I'll check that which table we need to delete. Okay. So first of all, I need to delete one table. So you can see here. So one table I taken as a product cost. So that product cost table I need to take. Um, so I need to check. See the all empty records are there. This means it is a dummy table, right? So I need to delete this table. Then after that I need to call it back again. Yes. So that's the reason you can see. I'll open this table. You can see that quantity, cost, product name, total cost is there. So I'll go to my table, right? So then I'll open the table. And then you can see that the backend name of the table is a u underscore products underscore cause. Right. I need to delete. Simply I'll click on delete button. So it will give you an option to delete. Okay. So see here. So then I'll type that is a delete in this area. So delete and simply I'll click on OK. So then what happened? You can see. So the total a table is ready to delete it. So it will it, it will take a little bit time because already the back end uh, all records also there on this table. That's why it takes a little bit time and just wait. We need to just click on wait. Okay. So that's the reason it is ready to delete it. So okay. So I think uh, the table is deleted now that information is showing as a table deleted. So right. Now I'll go to my personal developer instance only. You can see that uh, when I just refresh this one, so no table has to present in that particular area. So that's the reason from where we can find out. So mainly important thing is I need to type here. You can see here. So first we can type. So we recover. We are going to recover that uh, table, right? So sys underscore. So meta data underscore delete. So dot list. So if you want to dot list means if you want to use uppercase or lowercase, no issue. So this information is very important. Sys underscore meta data underscore delete dot list. So you can see that in a next tab, it will open all the deleted application files. You can see all the deleted application files has to present here. So these all are deleted files only. So then I need to check whether this a product cost is coming came or not. So we, we need to check. So simply I'll type that is a product. Okay, product and cost. Right. Okay, simply I'll click on I'll enter it. You can see. So that is a field label and like an explanation case, a module and table modules all are so just it, it is storing in a deleted application file. Is it right or not? Now you can see that is a second last to second one is a table. 
so that is a product cost table is just present i need to recall that particular product cost unfortunately i deleted i need to get it back again so simply click on the table on that you can see so here we need to see all the details like a table name again so deleted date and everything will be ready to appear in this area see the right side corner so restore file is there right simply click on restore file you can see so before that once you see here all the field values are there you can see that is like a all product cost quantity everything will be ready to present here so i need to just go and try to click on the restore file then you can see what will happen so it is ready to just get it back again the field the table is just coming back again it will show some information for example so is a confirmation message it will ask so if i write to press on ok then fine then you can see so it is ready to just roll back the table so it is just like after deleting again we can go for our instance we can check so that is the area we need to get it back again you can see here so that is a table is again a roll back means the it is was restored in your instance then you can see after updating that one so that record is not present in that deleted area again i need to go to my personal developer instance area and i need to check the tables first okay so that's the reason you can see here so i'll just go for the tables so we can type that is a i'll refresh this one then after refresh one you can see so now let's we go for the tables first okay so tables so we can see the tables right system definition tables so we can see so see here the product cost table is present now okay so all the field values and everything will be ready to appear here so that's the reason that is the main cause uh, we can use the so uh, this all kind of the values are present okay now so that the reason we can get the again file is just coming back okay so so thank you thank you for watching i think you so you are just following our channel versta educational channel so please follow us and uh, so one more thing if you have any queries you can send your comments and as well as you can join as a uh, member of your versta education so it will helpful and you will get some more extra so practical live sessions also we need to conduct for the members and as well as if you are interested to go for the so development side like a service now javascript and everything if you want to uh, learn so trainings if you want to join in a trainings you can join so we are right to provide a training also so uh, once again thank you thank you for watching